Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, Orgel diagrams. Okay, so Orgel diagrams very useful topics for CSIR and GATE examination. So nowadays uh, they are given in the JAM exam also. Okay, so this is very pretty easy uh, topic. Uh, easily get the four marker from the CSIR and two marks from the GATE. Okay, so if if a question came from the Argyle diagrams, definitely you will get the uh, those marks after watching this video. Okay, so uh, the Argyle diagram mainly depends upon the certain uh, terms like uh, spectroscopic terms, so which we are discussed in our earlier lectures. So those terms is furtherly split it into several types. Now we are discussed in our earlier lectures. So 3F term, it gives the 21 microstates. That means again it is split into 3F4, 3F3, 3F2. Okay. So each term gives us a certain uh, energy levels. All together 3F it gives the 21. 21 microstates. So now here, so the spectroscopic term can uh, furtherly split it into other ways. Now in case of octahedral and tetrahedral environment, how they are splitted whenever the ligand approaches to the central metal atom okay now what will happen so how the ligand strength which affect on the those the splitting energy of a spectroscopic term so which are all together explained by the argyl diagrams okay now before going to the argyl diagram now certain things what we needed to deal with that of uh, argyl diagrams now the first thing is spectroscopic term symbols and splitting energy levels of those spectroscopic terms okay now we have to uh, look out to the molecular symbols of a spectroscopic term symbols okay all all are in capital letters so yes term we have we already discussed so these values are l values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the l values magnitude values now here l is equal to 0 means the term is yes now the octahedral splitting is only one splitting only one orbital that is a1z Okay, so in case of a tetrahedral, tetrahedral doesn't having the inversion center. That's why zeroid is no need to indicate the zeroid of tetrahedral symbol. That's why here zeroid is eliminated. Then it is a one. Okay, now in case of a p term, it is a t one z. In case of tetrahedral, it is t one. In uh, tetrahedral, it is t one. Okay, now however the d term which can split it into furtherly two types, uh, t two g as well as e z, t two g as well as e z. So these are the not orbital d orbital. Okay, not d orbital. So it is a spectroscopic term. Okay, now the third the l is equal to three value. Then the uh, the term is yeah, of it is furtherly split it into three levels. One is t one g, t two g, a two g, t one g, t two g, a two g. Now those are uh, separated energy levels. We are discussed after this uh, uh, molecular symbols. Now here in case a two t one t two a two t one t two. Okay. Now in case uh, l is equal to four, then g is equal to a one g, e g. T1, G, T2, G. Now those symbols A1, E, T1, T2. Okay, now here, however, L is equal to 5, then the symbol is H. Here, E, G plus 2, 2, T1, G plus T2, G. 2, T1, G, not this point here. 2, T1, G in case of H term. Okay, now here the tetrahedral zeroid is eliminated e plus 2 t1 plus t2 now finally the term is 6 is equal to i now here we will get the several types now one is a1g a2g eg t1g plus 2 t2g plus 2 t2g now however so six terms six lines it is furtherly split into six lines now here a1 a2 e t1 2 t2 2 t2 okay these are the terms which are regarding to the Argyle diagrams, uh, molecular symbols for spectroscopic terms. For spectroscopic terms. Okay, take a screenshot and I will go through the uh, further content of Argyle diagrams. Okay, now I'll drop the word. Now what we observed in case of D1 to D9 configuration, so D1 to D9 configuration, okay, oh, we are uh, already aware about uh, the ground term symbol prediction identification, D1 means L is equal to uh, 2, that means the term is D, L is equal to 2, that, that means the term is equal to 2, then uh, N plus 1 is equal to 2, it is D1, now here D2, L is equal to 3, L is equal to 3, then the term is F, the sim, uh, micro, multiplicity is 3. Now in case of D3, 
here l is equal to 3 that's why because here the zero value l is equal to 3 then the term multiplicity is 4 now d4 1 2 3 4 here l is equal to 2 then term is 2 now here the multiplicity is 5 multiplicity is 5 now however d6 cases 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. L is equal to 2. Term is D. Then 4 unpaid electrons are there. Term is, the multiplicity is 5. Now the D7 cases. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. L is equal to 3. Then the term is equal to F. 3 unpaid electrons are there. 3 plus 1, 4. Now, however, the D8 cases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. L is equal to here 3. Here also 3. Now the term is F. The number of unpaid electrons are 2. The term is uh, spin multiplicity is 3. Now finally, D9 cases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here all, all together cancel. L is equal to 2. Then the term is D. Term is D. Now here only one unpaid electron there. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Among all these configurations, now we are observed only two terms. One is D term, another one is F term. One is D term, another one is F term. Now, arcal diagrams based on these D and F terms, how they are split. So, they are explained how they are splitting takes place in D and F terms. Okay. Before going to the splitting of D and F terms, now I will give you a table regarding to the these uh, configurations. Now here, D1, D9. So, it is D2, 2D configuration. So now these are the previous cases. Now here D2, D8, both are 3F cases. Both are 3F. D3, D, uh, D3, D7, both are 4F. Now here D4, D6, both are 5D. So this is very helpful for the our future Argyle diagrams. Our future Argyle diagrams. Okay. Um, note this very clearly. Now we are discussing about uh, splitting of uh, D and F terms. Splitting of D and F terms. D and F terms. Now here the D term we are already discussed in our previous uh, start our starting on this lecture. So Mulkin symbols D furtherly split it into T2G and EG. Okay. Now F furtherly split it into T1Z, T2Z, A2Z. Okay. Now here the D term which is which can uh, split it into two types. So one is like a EG and T2G. So this is the general representation of a D term. General representation of a D term. Now here which is similar to the octahedral splitting. Which is similar to the octahedral splitting. Now however sometimes it may be reversed. Sometimes it may be reversed. Here T2G level is ground state in the first cases. Now here T2G level it occupies the highest energy level. That means uh, EG is ground state. Now it may be opposite to the octahedral. Opposite to the octahedral splitting. Opposite to the octahedral splitting. So these two splittings which are observed in the data. Okay, now one is similar to the octahedral splitting. Another one is opposite to the octahedral splitting. Now, in case of F term, we are observed again two cases. One is similar to the octahedral splitting. Another one is opposite to the octahedral splitting. Opposite to the octahedral splitting. Here the T, three terms are there. T1Z, T2Z, A2Z. So listen carefully. Very easier. Here T1Z, T2Z, A2Z. T1Z, T2Z, A2Z. This is the F term which is very similar to the octahedral. So that's why it is similar to the octahedral splitting. Okay. Similar to the octahedral splitting in F term. Now, however, so it may be quite reversed. Here T1Z, T2Z, A2Z. Here quite opposite to the octahedral. Opposite to the octahedral splitting. Now we observed uh, in D term, one is similar, another one is opposite. In F terms also, one is similar, another one is opposite. How they are used in the Argyle diagrams so based on the electron promotion and hole inverse. Now we are discussed about uh, electron promotion and hole inversion. Okay, so I'll give the uh, small table. So now here, in case of D term, if electron promotion is there, electron promotion and hole inversion. So if electron promotion similar to the octahedral, similar to the octahedral, hole inversion is there opposite to the octahedral, opposite to the octahedral. Now here, in case of F term. Electron promotion opposite to the octahedral, 
similar to the hole inversion similar to the octahedron similar to the octahedron so these two are helpful to identify the similar diagram or uh, opposite diagram for our d electron system okay now how they are uh, electron promotion and the hole inversion was predicted with the with in the electronic configuration now we will deal with uh, electron promotion and uh, hole inversion in our d1 to d9 electronic configuration okay let us assume it is a d1 configuration now here it is crystal field splitting energy of d1 like this okay whenever we supplied some heat that means whenever ligand field we supplied some heat uh, uh, the ground state electron entering into the higher energy level ground state electron jump to the higher energy level now here so if any electron jump to the higher energy level so that electron uh, jump to the higher energy level orbital take it as a reference okay so this orbital taken as a reference which orbital which can uh, release their electron to the higher energy level then it is a reference orbital okay so after the excitation after the excitation the reference orbital it may be closer to the adjacent orbital okay so the reference orbital at least one of the adjacent orbital is equal then it's said to be electron promotion electron promotion listen carefully okay now if the reference orbital nature which is uh, equal to the any one of the adjacent orbital then it is electron promotion which is not equal then it is hole inversion then it is hole inversion now here so here only uh, here there is no electron that means here a empty orbital so the remaining two are also empty that's why it is electron promotion that's why it is electron promotion now we'll go through the d2 configuration D2 configuration. 1, 2. So the last electron can jump it to the higher energy level. Okay. Now here the electron. Okay. Now here the reference orbital is this. Okay. This reference orbital which is equal to the right side orbital of T2G level. So it is also electron promotion. It is also electron promotion. D1 electron promotion. D2 electron promotion. Okay. Now what about D3 and D4 configurations? What about D2 and D3 configurations? Okay. D3, that means one electron, two electron, three electrons. Whenever these three elect uh, one of these three electrons jump to the EG level, now it's shown like this. So here the electron transition takes place, that means it is the uh, reference orbital. That reference orbital cannot match us with adjacent orbital. So this is, this is empty. Now the remaining two orbitals are one unpaid electron. So the remaining two orbitals having the each one unpaid electron. Each one unpaid electron. Now, now that's why here it is whole inversion takes place. Whole inversion takes place. Now what about D4 configuration? D4 configuration. Okay, one, two, three, four. Here the last electron jump to the higher energy level. Now it, uh, one, two, three, four. Here it is also whole inversion. Whole inversion. Now what about D6 case? Now we did not discuss it in the D5. Where we are discussing the D5 case at the ending of this video, if it is possible. Okay, now here D6. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this electron uh, having the downward spin, spin now it it uh, it contains the same the spin downward. That means minus half. Now here, so this is the reference which is equal to the another one. That's why it is electron promotion. Okay, D three hole inversion, D four hole inversion, D six uh, electron promotion, D six uh, electron promotion. Now what about? Uh, Now the D7 configuration. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now here the electron jumping takes place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So seventh electron over there. Now here it is the reference orbital. So this reference orbital which is closer to the equal to the right side orbital. That's why it is electron promotion. Electron promotion. Now what about a D8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now here, after the electronic transition, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the 8th one end jump to the easy level. Now here, which is not closer to the any one of these remaining two orbitals. That's why D8 is a whole inversion. D8 is whole inversion. Now the D9 is 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन नाउ द लास्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन कैन जंप टू द हायर एनर्जी लेवल नाउ हियर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन नाउ हियर द नाइन्थ इलेक्ट्रॉन कैन जंप टू द हायर एनर्जी लेवल सो व्हिच इज नॉट क्लोजर टू द एनी टू देम दैट्स व्हाई डी नाइन इज होल इनवर्शन डी नाइन इज होल इनवर्शन नाउ वी आर वी आर हैविंग द सर्टेन प्रॉप now we follow this certain formula so in case of d and f terms here d term electron promotion is there then it is similar to the octahedral splitting in uh, splitting takes place hole inversion is there opposite to the octahedral in f term quite uh, opposite electron promotion opposite hole inversion similar okay now here so the d1 d2 now uh, i'll give the table d1 d9 d2 d8 d3 d7 d4 d6 here the d2 f3 f4 like a 5d d1 d9 have, having the d terms d1 d9 d4 d6 having the f terms now what about uh, d1 case okay so the d1 case uh, here electron promotion takes place electron promotion means it is a similar to the octahedral structure similar to the octahedral structure now what about d2 so in case of d2 it is electron promotion but it is belongs to the f term it is belongs to the f term so f term electron promotion which is nothing but opposite strike opposite uh, uh, splitting takes place in f term f orbital now f term now what about d3 here hole inversion d3 belongs to the f term hole inversion means uh, similar to the f terms similar to the octahedral structure now what about uh, d4 in case of d4 it is hole inversion f term uh, d4 is a d term d term hole inversion is opposite d term hole inversion is opposite now what about so d6 configuration okay d6 is electron promotion so electron promotion in d6 that means d term so electron promotion in d term is similar to the octahedral now what about uh, d7 so d7 also electron promotion but d7 belongs to the f term so f term electron promotion is nothing but uh, opposite so now what about d8 d8 is a high uh, hole inversion d8 is hole inversion but it is belongs to the f term f term hole inversion is a similar f term hole inversion is similar now the d9 is so hole inversion which is belongs to the d term d term hole inversion is opposite okay so these two tables are very helpful to predicting the structures okay now finally i'll give the uh, simple table okay now here d1 d9 d2 d8 d3 d7 d4 d6 d4 d6 here the terms 2d 3f 4f 5d okay now i'll give the simple hint simple opposite simple opposite simple opposite simple opposite so if, if you have any doubts check it uh, with the structure now the simple opposite simple opposite simple opposite simple opposite okay with the help of these terms we are uh, we are constructed the orbital